In this video, we're going to talk about new settings for Glissandos. We're going to take a look at the Properties panel. Here I have a Glissando selected. And if I go down here to the Properties panel, we look at the Playback type. And if we click here, we get a menu. Now there are five choices. Auto, you'll see Auto selected if you open up an old project that has Harp. All other instruments and all other old projects will default to Chromatic. So Harp defaults to Auto and Old Projects. All other instruments, Chromatic. We have the new choice continuous. This is going to be based on MIDI pitch bend, making it now possible to create a continuous glissando. But it's going to be based on the pitch bend range of the instrument. Once your glissando exceeds the pitch bend range, it's going to force the glissando into a chromatic mode rather than continuous pitch bend. This is also going to be true if other notes on the same endpoint are affected, and then it'll switch to chromatic as well. I'll jump into an expression map here in just a moment and talk about that. We also have chromatic, which is the chromatic scale, white notes, which is the C major scale, and of course, none. So before I go too far, let me go ahead and get out of that, going up to library, expression maps. And depending on your instrument selection, of course, you'll get a different look here. But let's take, for example, solo flute. We're opening up the expression map data up here, and you can see our pitch bend range. A value of two will give you nothing finer than a chromatic scale. Now, it's possible to change this, assuming the instrument can play it back. You'll see some instruments that might have a pitch bend range of 12 or 24. They'll certainly could do a continuous glide at that point. So it's instrument-based. Let me go ahead and get out of this. And now let's go ahead and listen to some of this. So since we have piano selected, this will only be able to do increments as fine as the chromatic scale. But let's go ahead and listen to this. So here we have it set on chromatic. Again, here's our choices. And we'll take a look at chromatic and white notes. So here's chromatic. I'll go ahead and play this. Now let's change the glissando to white notes, which, by the way, is what piano defaults to, as well as pitch percussion. And, of course, it sounds quite different. Now, your speed will vary depending on how many notes it has to play in the amount of time it has as well. And obviously there were fewer notes and it sounded like a major scale. We also have delayed start. I'm going to go ahead and show you it down here since I'm already here. And you can turn it on by selection here if you'd like, or turn it off. Let's go ahead and leave it off for right now. This will override your playback option settings. So let's go up to library, playback options. And I already have glissando line selected. And here we have just one item here, delayed start. So with this checked, all glissando lines would have a delayed start. Let me go ahead and uncheck this. I want to mention another feature that I'll mention later as well. You now can hit return on the keyboard when you're in the option windows, and it's the same as clicking on the apply button. It allows you to make an edit that actually is going into effect without having to close your window, allowing you to make more adjustments to your options. If I hit return a second time, it will close the window. So let's go ahead and listen to this again without the delayed start. Again, that's the white notes. Let me go ahead and turn this on, and I'll enable delayed start. Let's listen again. So it's obvious that you can achieve a noticeable difference in your glissando speed by adjusting the delayed start. And that's all I'd like to cover. So in review, all the settings you need are actually found in the Properties panel. Select your glissando. You have your playback type. Auto is what harp will default to in old projects. In your old projects, all other instruments will default to chromatic. We have continuous, which will give you a very smooth glissando, but it's based on pitch bend. You need something larger than a plus or minus two, and chromatic scale and white note scale accordingly. And of course, you can turn it off. And you have the option of delayed start here to override the setting. We have in playback options, where we have glissando lines with the delayed start parameter, your choice of whether you like that active or not. And lastly, as I mentioned, when you're working in these option windows now, first time you hit return, we'll just apply the changes you've made. And the second time you hit return, we'll close the window. So that's a wrap. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this gives you a tip or trick or two on how to work with the new Glissando features. And we'll catch you on the next video in the series.